Something is happening beneath the feet of nearly 6 million people in the greater Naples area, and frankly, the data is becoming impossible to ignore. It is a geological scenario that was once thought to be a statistical impossibility, but as we navigate the first week of January 2026, the reality is setting in. For the first time in modern history, Europe's two most dangerous volcanic systems, MT Vesuvius and the Campi Flegrii supervolcano, are showing signs of a synchronized seismic awakening. This is no longer about isolated tremors or routine settlement. We are witnessing a deep earth snap that has placed the entire Mediterranean region on maximum alert. The New Year seismic surge. The year 2026 did not begin with a quiet transition for the Italian crust. Instead, it started with a violent series of shocks that caught the scientific community off guard. While editing reports on the ongoing activity at Vesuvius, new data flooded and that completely shifted the narrative. A cluster of earthquakes began to fire off underneath both volcanoes at the exact same time. At Campi Flegrii, the seismic list has escalated rapidly, showing magnitudes of 2.9, 3.1, and 2.9 in quick succession. But it is MT Vesuvius that has provided the biggest surprise of the new year. This sleeping giant has ignited with a massive earthquake swarm, recording nearly 100 earthquakes directly under the main crater in just the first few days of January. These aren't just microshocks. We are seeing a consistent string of 1.4, 1.6, and 2.2 magnitude events that suggest the internal plumbing of the mountain is under intense, renewed pressure. Vesuvius. The end of the quiet phase? Vesuvius is undoubtedly among the most famous and celebrated volcanoes in the world. It is the volcano of Pompeii and Herculaneum, an edifice that has been active for almost 40,000 years. It is currently classified as one of the most at-risk volcanoes on Earth, primarily because it sits in a densely populated area with over 6 million people in its immediate footprint. Following its last major eruption in 1944, which occurred during the height of World War II. Vesuvius entered what scientists call a quiet phase. For decades, the conduit was blocked by lava from previous eruptions, and the volcano was characterized by low seismicity and minor fumarolic activity. Historically, the small earthquakes we saw were labeled as settlement earthquakes, plainly, the result of the mountain cooling the reality, and contracting under gravitational forces. A new scientific However, report has confirmed what Italy's monitors fear. The ground shift in that the study, narrative. published the in Science, subsidence. with the help the of AI, of the ground analyzed years of high-resolution quiet volcano actually ceased over a year ago. Now, the focus is on the Grand Kono area, where the current earthquake swarm is centered. There is a growing chance that these tremors are not just rock settling, but are volcanic tectonic in origin. This implies a microfragmentation of the rocks caused by fluids, magmatic or hydrothermal, pushing their way up from the deep mantle. The magmatic system could be warming up again, indicating that the quiet phase is officially over. Campi Flegrii, the supervolcano threat. While Vesuvius captures the world's imagination, its neighbor to the west, Campi Flegrii, is arguably far more dangerous. It is not a traditional mountain-shaped volcano. It is a supervolcano, a massive caldera system where the city of Pote Suoli and parts of Naples are built directly inside the crater. While the ground at Vesuvius has stopped sinking, the ground at Campi Flegrii is rising. This phenomenon, known as Bradicism, has been escalating for years, but the current 3.1 magnitude tremors are a clear indicator that the pressure within the hydrothermal system is reaching a critical threshold. Scientists have warned that we must now estimate the risk of a phreatic eruption, an explosion of superheated steam and rock, occurring with absolutely no warning. For the people living directly on top of this caldera, the threat is no longer a future possibility. It is an immediate seismic reality. The Magma Highway Connection Perhaps the most terrifying aspect of the January 2026 data is what it implies about the relationship between these two giants. Historically, scientists thought Vesuvius and Campi Flegrii were independent systems. However, the fact that they are now firing off earthquake swarms and synchronization suggests they are connected in a way we are only just beginning to understand. They appear to be linked by a deep-seated magmatic plumbing system, a magma highway in the mantle. When one system experiences a shift in pressure, 
it transmits that energy to the other. Naples is literally squeezed in between these two super dangerous giants. If they are indeed reacting to the same deep earth pulse, a major event at one could serve as the trigger for the other, creating a volcanic double tap that would be unprecedented in modern history. The implications of this synchronized awakening are profound, demanding urgent attention and preparedness from authorities and residents alike. The Mediterranean region stands at a critical juncture, facing a geological challenge of unprecedented scale. The future of Naples, and indeed the entire region, hinges on understanding and responding to this immediate seismic reality. We have to say it plainly, without sugarcoating the reality, the Greater Naples area is currently sitting on a geological card that is unlike almost anywhere else on Earth. When we look at the breathtaking scenery of the Bay of Naples, we are looking at a landscape carved by catastrophe. Today, millions of people are living not just near, but actually along the steep slopes of Mount Vesuvius, and incredibly, right inside the gaping mouth of the Campi Flegrii Caldera. To live here is to make a wager with deep time. The current shape of Vesuvius, that iconic silhouette dominating the skyline, is not a permanent fixture. It is merely the temporary result of thousands of years of violent, explosive eruptions that tear the mountain down and build it back up again. Its history is characterized by what geologists call plinian events. These aren't just lava flows. These are massive, vertical explosions that send columns of superheated ash, pumice, and gas miles into the stratosphere, turning day into night and blotting out the sun. But the ash falling from the sky isn't the only killer. The true terror of Vesuvius lies in the pyroclastic flows. These are avalanches of gas and rock, hotter than an industrial oven, moving at hundreds of miles per hour. They don't flow like water. They surge like a hurricane of fire, obliterating everything in their path. We look back at history for context. The 1906 eruption was the most energetic of the 20th century, reshaping the summit and devastating local towns. Then came March 1944. That was the last time the world saw Vesuvius truly roar, occurring right in the middle of the Second World War. We have footage of Allied soldiers dusting ash off their bombers. But we have to realize, those eruptions occurred when the city was a different creature. It was smaller, less dense, less vertical. Today, the situation is radically different. A synchronized eruption of Vesuvius, or a major event at Campi Flegrii, would be a humanitarian catastrophe of unfathomable scale. We aren't talking about evacuating a few villages anymore. We are talking about a metropolis. The density of the population in the designated red zones is terrifying. These are areas where survival depends entirely on leaving before the eruption peaks. This means an evacuation would involve millions of people moving through a constrained infrastructure in a matter of days, perhaps even hours. Imagine the traffic bottlenecks. Imagine the panic. It is a logistical feat that has never been successfully tested under the pressure of a real, imminent eruption. We have plans on paper, but nature rarely follows our scripts. And while Vesuvius towers above, the Campi Flegrii, the burning fields, lurks below. This isn't a mountain. It's a supervolcano depression, a caldera that spans miles. People live, work, and sleep directly on top of the lid of this pressure cooker. The ground here breathes. It rises and falls in a phenomenon known as braticism. But lately, that breathing has become ragged. It has become rapid. The earth is moving, and it is moving beneath Italy with a frequency and intensity we haven't seen in decades. We are witnessing a shift. The respectably large cluster of over 100 earthquakes recently detected at Vesuvius, combined with the escalating, relentless swarms at Campi Flegrii, tells us that the rules have changed. These two systems are distinct, yet they share the same crustal neighborhood. When one moves, the other feels the stress. Whether this seismic chatter leads to an immediate eruption or represents a long-term, decades-long buildup of pressure, one thing is undeniable. The situation is unusual and strange. Seismologists are seeing patterns that don't fit the quiet baseline of the last 40 years. Magma chambers are refilling, fluids are migrating through the rock, and the crust is cracking under the strain. We are watching a living planet in a state. This creates what we are calling the Naples Squeeze. Pressure from the east at Vesuvius, pressure from the west at Campi Flegrii, and millions of people caught in the middle. 
The indomitable energy of the Italian crust is a stark reminder that we are merely guests on its surface. We build our concrete cities and pave our roads, but the geology beneath us is ancient, restless, and indifferent to our schedules. We are not here to fear monger, but to bear witness. We will continue to monitor the Grand Cono of Vesuvius. We will watch the ground deformation sensors at Campi Flegrii to see how much the Earth has lifted, and we will keep you updated on every single snap in the crust. The fire below is starting to speak. It is whispering in tremors and groaning in uplifts. The question is no longer if it will shout, but when. Stay informed. Stay alert. Do not become complacent just because the mountain looks peaceful today. The map of Europe is being tested by the ancient, primal forces of the Mediterranean, and we are here to document every second of it. This is the reality of living on the edge. Watch the ground.